Sider sa misang ito, kung natin siya sa pagdalangin sapagkat siya ay nagkaroon ng karamdaman. At ganun din yung ating mga kapatid na hindi nakasama sa pagdiriwang na ating uh, retreat dito sa Holy Land. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, and what I intend to do, in my hope, in my hope, in my most gracious hope. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary and her beauty, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O Father, to your Son, hear your thought, the beatitude to the disciples and the crowds. May your people love what you command and desire what you promise, so that in the midst of the events of the world, our hearts may look beyond where there is true joy to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The reading from the book of the prophet Stephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the land, who have observed his law. Seek justice. Seek humility. Perhaps you will be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will leave us remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and lie down with none of disturb them. The word of the Lord. Be God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord keeps faith forever, secure justice for the oppressed, who gives bread to the hungry. The Lord set prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord protects the resident alien. He comes to the aid of the orphan and the widow, but trusts the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, Zion, through all generations. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all his speech shall be added unto you. from the 
from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up this mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, but after every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Brothers and sisters, you just heard the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Firstly, I would like to apologize because uh, if, my, if my reflection, which I am humbly uh, sharing with you today, does not come from today's reading. Or it's not based on today's reading. The reason is, I haven't read the regular gospel. Okay, so I read the re I read the readings of today just now. So I base my reflection on the theme which is scheduled in today's uh, which is scheduled today, which is in Capernaum. In Capernaum. So I centered my reflection on on this on this theme in Capernaum. So I wrote uh, so, uh, yesterday. I was so inspired. No? I was like, so, is, is it yesterday or the other day when we went to Petra? No. So I scribbled this uh, reflection when we are when we were on the way to Petra. Okay. So. So in Capernaum. So after Jesus was baptized by his cousin John the Baptizer in the Jordan River, he eventually started his public life and public ministry. In other words, Jesus' baptism signaled the beginning of his public life and public ministry. Surprisingly, Jesus being an Asaronian, did not start his ministry in his hometown. Maybe Jesus knew, uh, in his wisdom, he knew that the people in Nazareth were not yet ready to accept him or to recognize him. So where did Jesus start his public life and ministry? In Galilee. And Galilee, which has become the center of his public life and ministry, particularly in his three important towns, Kerosin, Bechida, and Capernaum. But of these three towns, Jesus spent most of his ministerial life in Capernaum. That's why Capernaum became the center of his public ministry. And in fact, Jesus made Capernaum as his second home. Why? Why? Because Capernaum has many synagogues to boast of. Jesus used to enter the synagogue when he was teaching, preaching, and proclaiming the truth about God and the coming of his kingdom here on earth. It was also here in Capernaum where Jesus performed many miracles of healing. And one significant healing which Jesus performed here in Capernaum was the healing of the son of the centurion. The centurion, being a Roman officer, 
was a pagan, and he heard a lot of uh, a lot of things about Jesus and his works. So, with all his faith and humility, he approached Jesus and requested him for the healing of his son. The action of this Roman officer was unlikely during that time, but he never cared less. He approached Jesus for his for the healing of his son. The, office, the Roman officer said to Jesus, Come down, Lord, my son is ill, rock with fever the live long day. He is life to me, if you will, drive death away, drive death away. Lord, do not come to my home, to my house, I'm unworthy. Speak and the promise is sealed. For when your word of God is spoken, he shall be healed, he shall be healed. So right then and there, the centurion's son was healed. He got what he wanted, and his faith was rewarded. So this was just one miracle healing Jesus did in Capernaum. But despite all the wonderful things that Jesus did in Galilee, in Chorazin, in Bichaida, and in Capernaum, the people remained unperturbed. Nanatili, nanatili, uh, nanatili ang tao sa kalang pagkaroon ng matigas sa puso.